Hi folks, uh, I'm right now at Ela Ekulan Nature Retreat, uh, which is a nature retreat in the in Munnar in the South Indian state of Kerala. So, this is basically a cardamom and coffee plantation, and uh, we thought of the coffee harvest is just over. So we thought of making a blog or a small video about coffee, uh, how it is harvested, plucked and harvested, how it is sun dried, then how do we roast it. And finally, we make it into a powder and make a cup of coffee out of it. So, this blog is basically about coffee from from the farm to the coffee cup. This is a coffee. Coffee is basically a tree. So, what you see here, this, and this is a bean. So, coffee grows in the equatorial belt, mostly a native of Africa. And now coffee is grown in around 70 countries around the world. This is not the way a coffee tree should be because you know they, they prune it all the time so that, so that it doesn't grow high. These trees, I think, uh, they're not taken care properly. It's grown up high. So uh, the reason why we don't make it grow high is because you know it's difficult to pluck. It's supposed to be somewhat of this height. They prune it all the time so that it, it is in a height like this, and it uh, when more of pruning happens, yield is more. This is a cluster and uh, this what you see in red is a ripe bean this is this is ideal time to pluck this so this is the unripe one this turns into something like this then it turns into this color so this is a ripe coffee fruit it's a berry basically so if you don't pluck it on time it becomes like this so this is almost like you know it's gone these are the different stages of the coffee berry so you see it comes like this. Dun, dun, dun. The next process is about sun drying. Come in, come on, come in. This is what we call as a lungi. In Kerala, it's kind of a native dress, like you know, a lot of people wear around. And we have some some people plucking coffee around. So where they were in this attire, so I also just opted to wear this. So it's like this. For more comfort, you just fold it and tie it again. So it's pretty much easy to walk. It was about to rain and it's partially raining right now. So that, that's the reason why we have pulled it down. This is coffee bean tea. This is how it looks like. So this is basically the berry sun dried. So we need to you know uh, take out the coffee bean. Let's go in and uh, let's extract the beans from these I just brought all the dried coffee berries so so I'm going to you know hammer it and uh, probably get the bean out So this is the bean and we have extracted it from the husk. We are going to roast it right now. So we just roasted it right now and uh, we are letting it cool down so that we can probably blend it and make, get it into a powder form. You see this? This is roasted coffee, coffee bean. Wow, 
So you see that? That's coffee. In powdered coffee. So we add two spoons of sugar. How is it? That's an awesome coffee. And if you want to want a milk coffee, just put in some milk or cream. And you just have it. So there is a difference in this coffee. Like you know, you might see the color a bit different. It doesn't have chicory. It doesn't have anything, any flavoring elements or any preservatives or anything of that sort. This coffee tastes different and it's awesome. What you just had is roasted coffee beans, powdered and we just added hot water into it and added some sugar into it. This is the original coffee. So what you get in the stores would be something which might have chick which, which might have chicory, which might have other preservatives, other flavoring agents. So that's kind of a proprietary brand of coffee that you get in stores. If you wanna have some original coffee, come down to Ela Ecolin. I'm putting the name of the property and putting the website address of this property. So probably you can just have a look into it. That's it from now. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe for more interesting uh, videos from us. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.